just hope and I believe, I truly feel they will be entertained. I think they'll uh, come back for more uh, and then hopefully maybe want to invest a little time just to understand the issues and the time maybe a little better and uh, have a dialogue about it. We need to know that we need each other. In this story, this isn't just uh, black men and women who end up taking their ownership and, and escaping. It's also the abolitionists uh, who come and help. And so we're going to need each other in order to have a movement, in order for us to make change, in order for there to be healing. I think it's any time is a good time to have the conversations that I hope this show will, will spur. I think conversations about diversity, about equality, are always relevant. And and particularly now, look at look at the whole sort of Oscar ceremony was dedicated to the conversation. I think I think it's a good time to sort of tune in and, and, and just sort of be open-minded. We knew this was a great story. The story of the Underground Railroad, such an important, interesting part of American history, uh, lends itself really well to a television series because there's so much action, so many great characters, uh, so many interesting stories that can be mined from, uh, from the slaves to the plantation owners to uh, the abolitionists to the slave catchers. There's so many interesting stories to be told. I think the country is fighting a lot of ignorance. And we need stories that just remind us that actually we came together to really honor, honor, you know, people and that we cared about humanity and that it crossed color lines. It kind of brings us to the forefront to show people we need each other to make this thing work. You know, you can't run over, you know, your fellow man just because of the differences or things that you don't readily understand. We're still here and we need to rely on each other to get through this daily life every single day. And I think it's the perfect time for it. You know, I think there's so many wounds in our past that we have to heal today. Um, I think there's so much we can learn from these brave men and women from all walks of life. You had abolitionists who were black and white in the North. You had Native Americans, you had African Americans who ran. You had all these different people working together and they single-handedly changed the trajectory of our nation. If we do that today, if we continue to work together, we'll see more change.